Yijing Hu from Molecular and Cellular Biology will talk about how do DNA replication machinery and gene silencing system evolve together. DNA replication is one of the most important process in all different life forms for them to replicate um, their genetic material faithfully. On the other hand, another essential mechanism called gene silencing is important for regulating which part of genetic material got to be used and when they are used. Error occurs in either one of them could lead to genome instability and cause diseases. The DNA replication process initiates from the um, um, regions in DNA that are called replication origins. Interestingly, the replication origins are very sequence specific only in a small group of budding is shown on the picture and not in most eukaryotes. That includes most animals, plants, insects, and mo even most of the yeast. But why is that? Why only this small group of budding yeast have this mechanism that can recognize their replication origins in sequence specific manner then? So the result from my study for my PhD thesis have gave an insight of what could be really happening. I look into evolution and I found a very interesting co-evolution phenomenon that I'm going to explain about. Through multiple experiments, I have found a key that contributes to the, um, to the mechanism that this replication machinery in this small group of budding yeast can recognize their replication origins in sequence specific manner. It is actually a very special structure that only exists in the replication machinery in this small group of budding yeast. And more importantly, the small group of budding yeast seem to be the descendant from the ancient yeast ancestor that seemed to be infected by a killer virus. In order to survive the killer virus infection, they seem to be forced to lose one of the most important gene silencing process called RNAi. And in order to survive and complement the loss of the RNAi, they actually came up with a different gene silencing mechanism that actually used the component from the replication machinery. And that's how they co-evolve. So the take home message is the most of the eukaryotes on the picture, they don't have um, sequence specific origins and they do have gene silencing mechanism called RNAi. But the yeast in this mock of rabatting yeast, they uh, actually do have the sequence specific replication origins and they use a different gene silencing mechanism. And I, we believe that it is the machinery that place this replication origins sequence specifically to those regions to avoid colliding the replication and transcription mechanism. Thank you.